There are many things about our world that we don't know. For example, although we do know that there are four basic forces that shape our world, we don't know if they are unified in some way. We also don't know much about what our universe was like during its beginning stages or why it formed the way it did. Also, we experience the world in three dimensions, but scientists are finding hints that there could be more hidden from our sight. One of the biggest questions that we have has been around for almost a hundred years. It began up in the sky when, in the 1900s, scientists began noticing something unusual when they studied the rotation of galaxies. The stars in a galaxy are pulled together by the force of gravity, which causes them to rotate. How much gravity is exerted on a particular star depends on both the distance and the amount of mass between the star and the center of the galaxy. The laws of gravity predict that stars very close to the center will rotate slowly, since there isn't very much mass between them and the center of the galaxy to pull them along. Stars further away from the center should rotate faster, since there is more mass between them and the center that is exerting a gravitational pull. Finally, the stars that are out near the edge are predicted to rotate slowly again, because the distance between them and the center is so great, it reduces the gravitational pull exerted by all of the mass in the galaxy. When scientists observed actual galaxies, something surprising happened. Stars that were closer to the center rotated at the speed that they were predicted to, however stars that were further away from the center, near the outside, rotated much faster than they were predicted to, completely violating the known laws of gravity. Something was very wrong here. The basic laws of gravity and rotational movement seemed to be falling apart. However, scientists came up with one idea that seemed to explain everything. The trouble is that the stars had far more rotational velocity than what the mass of the galaxies could account for. What if instead of something being wrong with the laws of gravity, there was simply more mass in the galaxies that just couldn't be detected? This idea has been tested, and physicists believe that this is in fact the case. There's a very strange type of matter that exists out in space that we've never encountered before. Although we don't know much about this matter, we do know a couple of things. First of all, we can't see it. Normally for our eyes to see something, light either reflects off or is emitted from the object and enters our eye, which gives us an image. The light doesn't interact at all with this strange new type of matter, so we call it dark matter. Also, the matter that we can see only makes up a tiny fraction of the universe. If what we know so far is correct, dark matter makes up about five times as much. But there's a whole lot about dark matter that we don't know. Mainly, physicists still don't know what dark matter is actually made of. None of the particles we know about today have the right characteristics to match what we know about dark matter. Physicists have come up with different theories about what comprises dark matter, but there are so many possibilities it's hard to know which is right. For all we know, it could end up being something that we never even expected. To try and figure out this mystery of dark matter, we have everything from satellites up in the sky to mines down beneath the ground trying to detect traces of dark matter around us. However, many people believe that instead of just searching for dark matter, we could actually try to create it. This involves taking two particles, often protons, and smashing them together. The collision produces many subatomic particles, which will sometimes decay into really rare particles that we don't often get to see, which could potentially include dark matter particles. There are entire machines called particle colliders that are dedicated to doing this. The largest one is buried over 100 meters beneath the border of Switzerland to France. It's called the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, and it's a giant circular machine with a 27 kilometer circumference that provides a giant runway for beams of protons to accelerate to very high energies and then smash together. The resultant subatomic particles fly out right into giant cylindrical pieces of equipment that record each of their locations and energies. These are called particle detectors. There are seven of them located along the LHC. This one right here is called Atlas. Atlas was designed to help investigate a wide range of areas in modern physics, and searching for the production of dark matter in proton collisions is a high priority. However, as we already know, dark matter doesn't interact with light. It also doesn't interact with particles like quarks and gluons that comprise ordinary matter. This means that even if we create dark matter particles in the LHC, they'll pass through Atlas and other particle detectors without being noticed. So to search for dark matter production and collisions, physicists use a concept called missing transverse energy, which we'll cover in our next video.